Transnet Foundation is the corporate social investment arm of Transnet Limited. It is a specialist unit charged with administering and executing Transnet social investment strategy. At the foundation, we have seven operational thrusts or portfolios. These are education, health, including the Pelo Pepper and teenage health programs, sports, socioeconomics infrastructural development, employee volunteer program, grants and donations functions, and the heritage and preservation portfolio. Our education portfolio has its own success story, the Orphaned Youth Education Development Program. Launched in 2012, our successful Orphaned Youth Program speaks to the learner side of the education cycle. The youths are selected from various provinces across South Africa and put through a rigorous selection test to establish their academic strengths. Annually, the Foundation adopts a new set of orphans for the program, through which the Foundation sponsors their schooling in top performing schools nationally, from grade 8 through to tertiary level. The sponsorship includes boarding fees, school amenities, clothing and a monthly allowance, as well as their tertiary education at universities throughout South Africa. The program is currently supporting 50 dedicated youths in top performing schools. Health Hailed as the miracle train, Pelo Pepa Health Trains were the first healthcare clinics on wheels. Initially launched in 1994, it uses the existing rail network to make quality medical care an accessible reality for many of South Africa's remote communities. As a result of the success enjoyed by the first train launched in 1994, a second 18-coach train was subsequently launched in March 2012. This more than doubled its annual patient's reach, from 180,000 to 390,000. Pelo Pepa has seen about 4,275,482 individuals since inception. This includes its outreach programs. With modern state-of-the-art equipment, the 18-coach train provides a general health clinic, optometry and dental care, pharmacy, as well as psychological counseling services. In 2012, we launched our Teenage Health Program, which was implemented in five schools in the Northwest Province and seven schools in the Northern Cape. By December 2012, 3,600 girls had benefited from the program. The program was also successfully introduced in KwaZulu-Natal and the Free State, with an aim of rolling it out through all our nine provinces. Sports Our annual Rural and Farm School Sport Program starts at the beginning of the year, culminating in a national sports tournament held in Johannesburg. It brings together over 100 schools from five participating provinces. The program identifies, nurtures and develops young sport talent in rural areas to improve their future prospects of competing on global platforms. We also continue to support the Safa Transnet Football School of Excellence, which aims to nurture talented soccer players from all provinces. Here, 116 young boys are part of an academic institution with a difference. When school is out, they are coached in soccer, so that post their high school careers, they can venture into a professional career in football. Many former students have been signed by premier soccer clubs and overseas teams, and have represented Bafana Bafana, including Stephen Pinar, Bernard Parker, Dane Clatter, Jeffrey Ntuka, Bryce Moon, and Mosila Mudubi. Socioeconomics Infrastructural Development Our Socioeconomic Infrastructure Development Program has refocused its efforts on safety and security, building police stations for our communities. The presence of our refurbished containerized infrastructure can be seen and felt from the remote village of Perth in Kalakadi to the Vemba district in the Limpopo province. We have invested over 34 million rand into the program since 2001, building 19 satellite police stations and 14 multi-purpose centers, incorporating health clinics and social services access points. We have also added over 35,000 jobs through this program. Our partnership with the South African Police Service to erect satellite police stations in areas critically impacted by crime, or where security services are lacking, has made a significant difference in these communities. Employee Volunteer Program Our Employee Volunteer Program is geared for success through the involvement and the use of the myriad skills and expertise of transit employees, volunteering their time, skills and knowledge to help improve the communities. This is normally done through infrastructure maintenance, adult education and sports coaching. With more than 60,000 employees, Transnet has successfully managed to deploy its employee skills and resources to help improve the livelihoods of people in various communities within which the company operates. In 2013, our workforce descended on Da'a and painted the city red and green with our corporate colors, working on the Da'a Youth Precinct. In 2014, Transnet employees painted Orange Farm red and green again, where they constructed 67 crash toilets and connected them to the main Johannesburg sewer network. In 2015, our workforce descended on a school in Fosloros where we repaired school furniture and painted the school. 
grants and donations portfolios. Community-based and non-profit organizations play a crucial role in uplifting impoverished communities where people mostly don't have the means to help themselves. We have been very active in this space and here are some of the donations made in the past year. 1,961,937 Rand was donated to Africa Ekaya Entertainment to identify talented youth and create opportunities for them to emerge as budding artists in the Northern Cape. 376,325 Rand was donated to the Connect Community Development Agency towards improved identification of sporting talent in the Eastern Cape. A donation of 1 million Rand spread over two years was made to the Penryn Trust towards the Penryn Kapukweni Pipeline Program for high schools in Mpumalanga. A donation of 773,663 Rand was spread over two years to the Cooperative Organization for the Upgrading of Numeracy Training, or COUNT, for a family mass program in KZN. 670,172 Rand was donated to Sashigo Secondary School towards a computer laboratory center with security cages in Limpopo. A donation of 1,330,758 Rand was spread over three years to the Center for Education in Economic and Finance Africa towards 11 students doing postgraduate diplomas in economic policy or public policy and management. Heritage and Preservation The Transport Museum in George is more than 14,000 meters squared. It exhibits historical items such as steam locomotives, passenger coaches, vintage cars, furniture, silverware and cutlery and crockery from various periods of the transport industry. In conclusion, while lending a helping hand to the less fortunate communities and individuals is in perfect unison and alignment with Transnet's Holistic Long-Term Corporate Social Investment Strategy, or CSI, it is also something around which our purpose here at the Foundation revolves.